Michael here with a massive week in LEGO news. With over 100 new sets revealed from Star Wars, Marvel, Harry Potter, Batman, Sonic, Creator, and more. And LEGO even sent some of them to me early. Plus the next two LEGO Ideas sets. And may the fourth be with you all. And I'll kick off another round of the weekly giveaway. Just subscribe and leave a comment about this week's news. And of course, I'm back with LEGO deals from Amazon and across the web. So if you want to pick anything up to support the channel, there's links in the description below. First in Amazon, the LEGO Star Wars Ghost and Phantom 2 is 20% off. Luke Skywalker's X-Wing Fighter and the buildable Chewbacca are 30% off. And the Child is 31% off. Plus, the Clone Trooper and Battle Droid Battle Pack, Emperor's Throne Room Diorama, and Endor Speeder Chase Dioramas are 20% off. Over at Best Buy, the UCS Razor Crest and Mandalorian Fang Fighter vs. TIE Interceptor are 20% off. And over at Target, the new Invisible Hand is 20% off. Over at LEGO, you can get two times insider points on all the brand new May Star Wars releases. And they're offering three different Star Wars gifts with purchase, and even four times VIP points on some Star Wars sets. And if you want to pick up any of these deals and more and support the channel, there's links to everything in the description below. Next up this week, we got the reveal of over 100 brand new summer sets from Star Wars, Marvel, and your favorite themes. So I'm going to be going fast to break down the biggest announcements. First up, we've got Paz Vizsla and Moff Gideon Battle for $40. The build depicts the epic battle from the recent Mandalorian season, and this small build comes together nicely with that droppable door. At the top is a rotating turret, but the real highlight, of course, is the four minifigures. Paz Vizsla seems to be the same from the previous set, but the new Moff Gideon looks epic with that helmet. Plus, you get two Praetorian guards with those awesome new helmets. Next, we've got the Ambush on Mandalore Battle Pack for $20. The build here is actually quite substantial and connects to the previous set. Plus, there's a posable stand to make a figure fly. This set includes four minifigures, including a Mandalorian warrior and Night Owl, plus two Imperial commandos with those epic new helmets. Next, we've got Captain Rex Y-Wing Microfighter for $13. The ship looks nice at this small scale, but of course, everyone's gonna buy this set for the Captain Rex minifigure, which is the same highly detailed figure from the UCS Venator. Next, we've got Luke Skywalker X-Wing Mech for $16. While certainly a unique concept, I think this mech has a fun design with those X-Foil wings. Though sadly, the Luke Skywalker's not as detailed as the one in the UCS set. Finally, we're getting another Star Wars Advent Calendar for $45 in September, which has a lot of fun builds and some unique minifigures. Next for Marvel, we've got the Milano Spaceship with 2,090 pieces, retailing for $180. The ship at this scale is just stunning with the way that they were able to capture all the angles and curves. Around back, we can see the engines, and there's room for all of the characters inside. And there's even multiple interior spaces. This set includes five characters. First, we've got Drax, Star-Lord, and Gamora, and I love the arm printing on Drax. Plus, we get a new Rocket Raccoon and Baby Groot. Next, we've got the Avengers Assemble Age of Ultron with 613 pieces, retailing for $100. This set looks epic as it recreates the opening sequence from the film. The base can be reconfigured, and included is a full Jeep, plus a smashable turret. This set includes nine minifigures, including Iron Man and Captain America with a motorcycle, Thor with a new plastic cape, a new Big Fig Hulk and Hawkeye minifigure, Black Widow, and three new Hydra Troopers. Next, we've got Iron Man and Iron Legion versus Hydra Soldier for $20. While small, the build for the Hydra Fortress looks nice with those turrets and stud shooters. But of course, the standout are the minifigures, including Iron Man and two brand new Iron Iron Legion figures, plus one Hydra Trooper. Next, we've got the Avengers vs. the Leviathan for $50. Straight out of the Battle of New York, the Leviathan looks really nice with the armor plating and stud shooters. But the set also comes with five minifigures. First, we've got Captain America and Loki with that updated cape, Black Widow, Chitari, and the Hulk with a new face. Next, we've got Thor vs. Surtur Construction figure for $30. The Surtur Construction figure looks great with the large sword and those printed and stickered elements. Thor can even wear the crown and be posed on the back. And the set includes a new Thor with the new cape and those fire demons. Next up, we've got Dancing Groot for $40. $45. The figure looks cute and you can even make it dance. Plus, you can customize it with all sorts of accessories and even store them in the pot. And finally, I've got the Spider-Man Advent Calendar for $45 in September. And here there seems to be some fun builds and some unique minifigures. This week, we also got the reveal of the exclusive Captain America minifigure inside the new character encyclopedia. The figure for the comic book Sam Wilson Captain America looks really great. Plus, it'll be much cheaper than the previous San Diego Comic-Con exclusive version, which we got back in 2015. Next up, we've got Batman with the Batmobile versus Harley Quinn and Mr. Freeze for $60. Straight out of the animated series, the Batmobile looks really exceptional in a surprising dark blue color, and those stud shooters are removable. Flames at the back spin as it rolls, and there's even a display base. Include, we've got Batman with a new cape, a brand new Mr. Freeze, and Harley Quinn. Next up, we've got Batman construction figure and the Batpod bike for $65. While this line isn't everyone's favorite, the new Dark Knight-style Batman does look nice, and it's awesome to get a full vehicle with the Batpod, which hasn't been easily available in a set. Next, we've got the Batman mech armor for $15. Batman Man's mech looks nice with a spot for the minifigure, these bat wings at the back, and a stud shooter. Though sadly not an exclusive Batman. Finally, I've got the Batcave with Batman, Batgirl, and the Joker for $35. While simple, the set does come with some really great prints and multiple vehicles. Plus, Batman, Batgirl, and the Joker. Next, from Sonic, we've got Super Sonic vs. Egg Drillster for $80. The build for Eggman's Drillster is really cool and comes with a hovering vehicle. Also included is a build for a lab and a breakable wall. There's also an Egg Pond Badnik, which holds Pocky and Pecky. And here we can see Shadow and our first Super Sonic minifigure, which has this special speed. 
Speed Sphere. Plus, there's a reprogrammed Gunwing. Next, we've got Tails Adventure Boat for $55. The Sea Fox boat looks really nice, and Sonic can parasail behind. Plus, there's a built-in Speed Sphere. There's a nice island build with rings and other accessories. And you can rescue Taki from Jaws. Finally, we've got Knuckles and the Master Emerald Shrine for $35. The build for the shrine is nice with the emeralds up top and a punching bag. Plus, a room for Knuckles. There's also a build for an Egg Robo Badnik with Picky inside. And a Grape Launcher for Amy. Next from Harry Potter, we've got Hogwarts Castle, the Great Hall for $200. This set really sets the scale for the new larger Hogwarts and puts the castle up on the rocks with a hidden entrance. Around back, we can see the Great Hall itself with all the tables, banners, and candles. And below that are multiple rooms that insert into the base, including the girls' bathroom with the troll and Hufflepuff common room. This set includes 11 minifigures. There's a new big fig troll, Albus Dumbledore, Professor Quirrell, and Professor Vector, Harry, Ron, and Hermione, Leon, Daphne Greengrass, Terry Boot, and Fat Friar. Next, we've got Triwizard Tournament The Arrival for $140. This is our first large Durmstrang ship since 2005 with lots of great detail in those sails. And we also get a smaller version of the Bobatons carriage, including five minifigures, the Goblet of Fire and Triwizard Cup, including Igor Karkaroff, Victor Crumb, and Barty Crouch Sr., plus Fleur Delacour and Madame Maxine. Next, we've got Ollivander's and Madame Malkin's robes for $90. The two buildings in this Diagon Alley expansion look really nice with lots of great detail. Around back, we can see the interiors, with Ollivander's having all the boxes and lots of new wand pieces, and Madame Malkin's featuring mannequins, accessories, and fabric. This set includes six minifigures, including Garrick Ollivander and Harry Potter, a wizard student and Madame Malkin, Padma Patil and a witch. Next, we've got Hogwarts Castle Potions class for $40. The Potions classroom looks great and is chock full of all sorts of accessories, including a new bottle and explosion pieces. Plus, the entire classroom can be folded up to be placed underneath the Great Hall. This set features four minifigures, including Hermione, Pansy Parkinson, Seamus Finnegan, and Severus Snape. Next, we've got Aragog and the Forbidden Forest for $20. The build connects with the previous Forbidden Forest set and features a brand new build for Aragog, which looks awesome. Plus, you get Ron and Harry. Next up, we've got the Mandrake for $70. The build features a Mandrake in a pot and is almost like the Harry Potter Botanical Collection. The Mandrake can be removed from the pot and you can open its mouth. Next, we've got Buckbeak for $60. The build for Buckbeak looks really nice and there's lots of points of articulation, including the ability to fold up the wings. We're also getting another advent calendar for $45 in September. And I always love the Harry Potter advent calendars and this one has some great figures. Plus, I'm so excited because LEGO sent me the entire wave of June sets to break down for you all. So be sure to stay tuned for all of the reviews. And I've got even more coming your way as LEGO also sent me the LEGO Creator 3-in-1 sets for June, including the Modern House, which retails for $100. The main build is a two-story beach house with lots of modern furnishings. It can be rebuilt into a three-story city building or a nice forest cabin. The T-Rex will retail for $60. And the T-Rex design looks really nice with lots of posability. This set can also be rebuilt into a Triceratops or a flying pterodactyl. Next in LEGO Ideas News, we finally got the results for the second 2023 review. We're out of the 49 projects, they chose the minifigure prize machine, Western River Steamboat, and are still thinking about the Disney Pixar Luxo Jr. Lamp. The minifigure prize machine looks really nice and will hopefully feature some awesome minifigures like we see in the submission. The Western River Boat has a very significant size, so I'm curious to see how much this one will end up being. The Pixar Luxo Jr. Lamp is super iconic, and I really hope this one gets made. LEGO also restarted their If I Could Turn Back Time fan vote, which includes projects from E.T., Gremlins, Goonies, and Beetlejuice. But due to a rule violation, Karate Kid was swapped out with Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, which features the iconic scene where they actually climb into a large-sized Lego brick. So be sure you check out the fan vote as there's only a couple more days to support your favorite projects. And this week, there were also five more projects to 10,000 supporters on the platform. So let's break them all down. First up, we've got Wolfpack Castle, which aims to give a proper home to the 1990s castle faction. The unique island castle looks nice, and I like that it's not too big. Next up, we've got Book Nook, the Story Laboratory. The build features buildable book bookends and this unique book nook featuring a library and three aspiring writers. Next, we've got Laurel and Hardy Theater, paying homage to the famous comedian duo. Included in the build are all sorts of swappable sets, as well as their car. Next up, we've got the Art of Japan, which celebrates Japanese art with this scene of Mount Fuji in a 3D design. And it even hangs on the wall. Finally, we've got Sushi Boat, which recreates that iconic display vessel and all sorts of unique types of sushi. And as for how all these projects will do, as always, we'll have to wait and see. So there you have it, a totally epic week in LEGO news with so many new sets, I couldn't even cover them all. I can't wait to get my hands on these new sets from Star Wars and Marvel and Batman, plus review the new Harry Potter and creator sets for you soon. So I better start building. Be sure to leave this video a thumbs up down below if you're as excited as me. And don't forget to subscribe because I'll be back next week with even more LEGO news. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think about all the stories? And which one are you most excited about? And now we've got this week's giveaway winner. Congratulations! And be sure to email me from the About page on my channel so we can coordinate about the prize. And if you want to enter this week's round, just leave me a comment about this week's news. You must be a subscriber to win. And definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks and have a good one.